Dr. Jimmy Opigo is a district health officer for Moyo, one of the 17 districts that are faring poorly at reaching the immunization targets of 90% of all the vaccine-preventable diseases, including polio. Partly because we are a border district and there are a lot of cross-border movements. And for a very long time, we had a big refugee presence. Dr. Opigo works in a remote outpost, which is one of the hard-to-reach areas. The health workers are normally not very adequate, and even the leadership, sometimes you find you know, the district health officers, there is high turnover. Such starving problems may hinder the country's progress in eliminating vaccine-preventable diseases. Efforts are now focused on eradicating polio. The health ministry's strategy will now focus on the injectable vaccine against oral polio vaccines. It boosts the immunity and uh, it uh, helps us to make sure there is no child who gets any weakness um, of the limb thereafter. This will be administered in combination with the bivalent oral polio vaccine which helps maximize the impact of contact with children in areas where access is limited. Though the country last registered a polio case in 2010, there are fears that the disease can be spread from the neighboring states as people move across the country's porous borders. But even on the globe, that is on Africa as a whole, uh, we are now eight months without any case of polio. In 2009, Nigeria registered about 200 cases, but by 2014, the numbers had dramatically fallen to six. <laughs> I want to thank World Health Organization for supporting these provision teams and boosting the sector with 52 motorcycles. To go from place to place in search of uh, suspected acute flaccid paralysis, which is the backbone of a polio eradication program. The health minister, Dr. Eliudat Moesiji, has loaded the efforts as the country moves towards eradicating vaccine-preventable diseases. Florence Salimba, NTV. Thank you.